So hello people, how you going? This is Glenn from Goomadi Coins and Banknotes. And today I thought I'd do something different and have a Roman coin. Because I collect coins from different periods, different eras. I don't discriminate. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to get a certain area to collect in. So here we have Tiberius, um, not Tiberius, Claudius. He reigned from 41 to 54 AD. And this coin was supposedly minted between 42 and 50 AD. I presume that's based on archaeological uh, diggings. So the first description that you can't see is T.I. And that's part of his name, Tiberius. Then we have Claudius, which is also part of his name, and Caesar, which is also part of his name. But Caesar on other coins could either mean related to the Roman Emperor or a successor to the Roman Emperor. But in this case, it's just part of his name. Then we have Augustus, identifying that he is the Roman Emperor. It was uh, given to you know those who uh, achieved that status. And then we have uh, IMP, which means uh, Imperator, which means the leader of the army. So IMP starts there, and then we have PM, which means Pontifex Maximus, which is the same as the Pope now. Uh, just means uh, the greatest priest or the head priest, something like that. Then there should be uh, TRP, which means Tribunica or Testus or Tribune of the People. The plebs, uh, who can also veto uh, Senate degrees if they did not benefit who he served or who he looked after, actually. Then after that should be PP, which means Peter Petria, which means father of the country. And that would have only been used after a few years for most emperors, but in this case it was used uh, one year after. So, on this side, this will be the reverse, as the Emperor's head is on the obverse. This one has Minerva. So, Minerva is here. It's supposed to have a, sh a javelin here. And, as you can see, there's a shield. And there is SC, which means Senatus Consulto, which means a decree by the Senate. So, this coin was actually issued by the Senate. It was issued in Rome. And in the Western Roman Empire, or Western part of the Roman Empire, the Roman Mint was the major issuer of coinage. As in the Eastern Mints, you had provincial mints who issued coins either in Latin or Greek, and they were just for use in the local area, and most of those were in bronze. Uh, the Senate did issue some silver and gold coins, but mainly the emperor issued those type of coins to it's part of his uh, power play with the senate. So, as you can see, this coin is actually pretty, uh, pretty damaged. I presume that is because of the environmental damage would have got after it was uh covered in soil and has a nice thick patina so you can see a lot of pitting on that there's also a lot of wear before it's actually lost so most Roman coins that they find are either well, small amount are hoards but a majority of them would have just been lost coinage that someone dropped so if you do lose a coin then Imagine in like uh, one, two hundred, maybe a thousand, two thousand, five thousand years. Come on, someone will probably find that coin and go, "Wow!" Oops, sorry, I dropped it. And they'll go, "Wow, wow! I wonder what happened to this coin. I wonder who had it." And obviously, we'll be long gone. And yeah, this beautiful feature that we once had will um be in someone else's hands. Like this coin here, 100 years time I won't be here, 
and someone else would have this coin and most likely not know that I had it at some time or another. Just like I don't know who actually had this coin before I bought it. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like Roman coins, give it a thumbs up. I will put a link to eBay if you uh, are interested in buying Roman coins on eBay. But be careful because sometimes you can get fakes on eBay. Uh, but eBay allows you to make a claim the coin doesn't arrive in post or if it is a, a fake. Thank you very much. Have an awesome coin collecting day.